All right, I don't think I'm gonna make a ton of videos on this. There's lots of guys online and most of them more knowledgeable than me on these uh, mini excavators. I'm just gonna walk you through my setup and show you some of the things I did that I think are going to maximize my investment that's gonna make this thing last longer for me. Uh, if you follow me or watch any of my videos, you know I bought some land in Nevada. I'm gonna build my own house. So I actually bought both of these, the 5.9 Jeep and this bourbon, uh, 6.5 turbo diesel bourbon. There's videos of that. And that's for going out looking for property. I found property, I bought property. I picked up this trailer, 1400 bucks invested into the trailer. Yeah, I'm working on my budget. I know there's better stuff out there, but this is what I can afford and still afford to build a house. So I bought this trailer for 1400. I uh, cut two feet off the back, basically one of these sections here, you know, between the angle iron, I cut off the back and I shortened it for when I'm off road and I didn't want the overhang past the tire to hang up. So I shortened it up kind of like a horse trailer is built. It's 10 feet. My Mini X is, takes up about six feet. I travel with the Mini X there over the axles. And then my hope is that um, when, I, when I'm out in Nevada, I'm closer to where I want to be. I'll run the Mini X forward to the front of the trailer. It leaves me four feet for, for Home Depot or Lowe's to put a, a full pallet of cinder block on the back. I can spin the bucket around and set the bucket on top and tie it down. And, uh, and that's gonna be my setup for going out for the weekend and, and beginning to build. Um, anyhow, so I bought this Mini X cheap. Uh, I'll tell you it's cheap. I think I did better than anyone I've seen so far. I'm 3,800 out the door, 3,300 on the auction, and then all the bullshit, 3,800 out the door. Um, so, you know, everyone puts a fan on it. A lot of guys put a cooler and a filter setup. That's what I did. These tanks are small. They don't hold a lot of fluid. There's not a lot of room for an extra reserve tank for more hydraulic fluid. And so the fluid heats up a lot faster. And I've seen claims of 300 degrees on the fluid if you've really been working this thing. The factory line comes right off the valves, off the rack, and it goes back to the tank. Uh, and if you only got, you know, two gallons at best in there, um, it doesn't take long to heat up that fluid. So I went on Amazon. This is the 30 row plate cooler. It was the biggest one they had on Amazon. There's 15s, which obviously are half of that, and 10s. I bought the 30 I wanted to fit the most that I could in there I just mounted it okay you can see the bolt sticking through and I mounted one down there as well so it's hard mounted then I got a 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. and I bought this filter housing I hard mounted hard pipe that to the 30 bar cooler uh, this is going to get welded and then I've actually got another angle so I'm going to be able to put another angle in here and weld all that and secure that. It's just hanging off the cooler right now. Uh, there's my filter. There's some cheaper ones out there but I wanted the Donaldson. I've been around diesels a lot. I'm familiar with these. I know I can get these and I was iffy on buying uh, a cheaper model with a no-name filter. So that's what I bought. I bought a full sweep 90 here. This is all 10 a.m. Okay, so now instead of coming off my valves to the tank, I come off my valves, I'm down in the bottom, come up to this filter, spin on filter through the cooler. Now I'm going to 90 off the cooler back to the tank where the original hose was. So what I did was I had him give me a couple of feet of hose and not crimp the end. Okay, I knew what I wanted in this length, but I was unsure in this one until I got everything mounted. So I had them not crimp the end. That allowed me to install the hose. And now I can take my 90 and I can figure out where I want to be and I can mark the hose. I'll take it back in in the morning and a guy's going to crimp it up for me. And I will uh, be able to package this a lot better than just giving him a random measurement and making it fit. Uh, so anyhow, so that's my setup. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to make a ton of videos on this. I'm just trying to get my investment to last longer. I put very good quality oil, um, full synthetic, Castrol extended protection, 20,000 mile oil. I put great quality oil. I bought some expensive full synthetic hydraulic oil and uh, 
I'm just trying to make this thing last for me and do what I need it to do.